So in this uh, video or in this recording, I will um, show how to how to implement chain of thought, uh, which is uh, based on the uh, React framework, reason and then act, and um, how to uh, put it into um, a uh, prompt and then uh, have a Python program to use that uh, technique. So the chain of thought or the React uh, framework, which it uses, um, helps the language model to, to think and then take an action before it gives you a final answer. So which makes the um, which makes the answer more accurate and and the process uh, and it becomes like the language model becomes more efficient uh, to uh, accurately answer the response. The other thing when I show uh, the demonstration, you will see that uh, it will also help to um, see what is going on in the mind of the language model while it is answering a question. So that gives some explainability to the final answer that a language model provides. So let's first uh, walk through the code and then we will um, run the code uh, to see the uh, see how it actually works. Uh, so I am uh, loading the OpenAI API key from the environment variable. Then I have a prefix. Uh, so in my uh, the the prompt that I'll create, the prompt will be created using a prefix, then the examples, then the suffix. So the prefix is used to um, initialize the agent, to tell the agent who it is. Right. So I'm saying you are a helpful chatbot, chatbot, and answer questions based on provided context only. If the answer to the question is not there in the context, you can politely say that you do not have the answer. Right. So that is a prefix. Now, in the examples part, I am showing it how to think and act to provide the answer. So it, I'm giving it some examples of thought and action, right? So I'm, I'm uh, saying that use the following format where the question is the input question that the LLM must answer. But once it gets the question, it should think, the thought should be, you should always think about what to do and then take an action. So the action that you should take should be based on the context that I provide to you, right? And we'll see how we provide the context. And then uh, the input to the action, the right? input to the action would be uh, the, 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 the query can be then input to the action. And based on it, there'll be an observation, which is the result of the action. The result of the auction, uh, action, um, like or, or this, uh, uh, so observation is a result of the action, but this thought, action, action input, observation can repeat multiple times before uh, reaching to the final answer, right? Uh, and the final thought is where the language model knows the final answer, and then it provides the final answer, the final answer to the original input question, right? So I'm, I'm showing the language model Given a input question, how should it think, take an action, and provide a final answer? Right. Uh, this is an example template that, uh, or uh, the prompt template that I'll use, where I'll um, have the context, the query, and the AI uh, answer that the AI gives. Right. Um, and uh, I'm creating the uh, example prompt from this template. Right, so input variables are context, query, answer, and the template that I'm using is this template. Right, so this gives me the uh, prompt template, right, which you'll use later on. The suffix is uh, so my prompt is formed of the prefix, the examples that I said, and the suffix is where at the end it will um, uh, have a uh, place to add the context, co um, append the query, and then wait for an answer for the AI. And this is where I'm creating um, the prompt. So this is uh, this is a Langchain uh, 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 class prompt template from examples. 
So I'm saying create the chat prompt using the examples that I have already given. Suffix, the input variable is context query and prefix. Um, so to see how, before I run it, right, I just, uh, let, let me actually print it out so that you can see how it finally creates the uh, prompt. So my prompt is actually this. And I'm going to uh, share this uh, particular um, code in my GitHub so that you can uh, take a look at it later. So the query, and let's say the context is, uh, I'll, I'll give a context saying, okay, so whatever I have here, let me put that as a context. Later I'll see why I need a document uh, schema as well, but the context equal to, right? So what I am uh, trying to do is, so the, if the, the query is why I want to buy stock of Google, can I buy through your bank? And the context that I'll add is bank customers will not be able to trade in shares and mutual funds through their bank account. They will need to open a, a trading account for trading in the market, right? So let's see how it uh, creates a prompt out of it. So the prompt will look like this now, right? So this is the prefix that we saw earlier. These are the example part that it is concatenating. And this is the final, uh, the context that I am, I am uh, giving it, right? So, so this is, this is, this is the prompt, right? Now, let me go through the rest of the code. So let me, I don't need this now. Let me uh, comment them. So after that, I'm instantiating the large language model. I'm using text da Vinci. Then I'm creating the load QA chain. The load QA chain takes LLM, the chain uh, type, which is stuff I'm using, and the prompt that I have created. Right? Uh, now the context, I want to pass it as a, uh, as a document schema, because that's what is uh, um, required if you are using a load QA chain, you need to convert your context uh, to the document schema. So here I'm creating two documents. One document is where it says that bank customers will need to open a trading account for trading uh, in the market. And the second one it is saying is bank customers can open trading account by logging into the bank portal, right? And then I'm um, uh, in a loop uh, asking, um, taking the question from the user and then getting the response and we'll print the response. So let's see once I run it while responding it, what are the thought uh, and the actions that are going on in the mind of the language model. So let me run it. So the first question I'll ask is this, right? So, uh, so if you see what I'm saying, I want to buy stocks of Google, can I buy through your uh, bank? It will not directly answer it, me first it will think right so it will say okay so the question was can i buy stocks of google through your bank thought i need to find out how to buy stocks of google uh, google uh, so it is in, uh, action is then a research how to buy stocks of google this is where it is actually um, going to the um, context uh, input is researching how to buy stocks of google so observation it got the observation from the context that I passed. Bank customers cannot buy stocks of Google through their bank account. They will need to open a trading account to buy stocks of. Then it is saying, now I know the final answer. And the final answer, no, you cannot buy stocks of Google through your bank. You need to open a trading account to buy stocks of Google. Let me ask another question. How do I open a trading account? Let's see what thought goes through it. So the question is, how do I open a trading account? Bank customers will need to open a trading account to trade in the account. That is a thought. Bank customers can open it by logging into the bank's portal. That is the context. 
uh, and then logging into so action input is logging into banks portal so the observation is if you have the trading account customers will be able to access the trading account page it now knows the final answer to open a trading account customers can log into the bank's portal and access the trading account page right so it is giving me the final answer so that's how uh, the chain of thought uh, which is based on the react framework like reason and uh, act framework right um, so that is um, uh, how uh, this is a demonstration of, of that framework i hope uh, you were able to understand this i am also going to post it into my uh, github uh, repo so that you can look at the code later on thank you that's all